Last weekend, my friends and I went camping in Algonquin Park, Ontario. We canoed through the lake to find a good site, explored some amazing areas, made some new friends, and had a lot of fun. This is our summer camping trip. First, Jordan and I had to empty our storage unit and take everything up north because we're moving back home for a year. Luckily, we managed to fit everything in the U-Haul, which was by far our biggest concern. I'm about to piss my pants, but the video is important. What do you think? I didn't get footage of the truck after it was unloaded, but trust me, we did a lot of heavy lifting with the help of my brother. Jordan also had her first experience driving a truck that big. Triceps yet? On my hand. Oh yeah. You'll be jacked by the end of this. I spy something tall. Yeah, it's this one. I spy something green. Tree. Tree. I spy something tall. Tree. Loon. That's not a loon call. We got currency named after you, buddy. We're about to crash. You guys good here? Yep. I like it. B-roll footage acquired. Just kidding. This isn't B-roll. There's actually quite a bit of sun on this thing too. Yeah, it's alright. How was that? Good. We survived. It's gorgeous. Over here. Door and cart. I'll get on the net. And we'll watch. <laughs> Free dogs. Yuck. There he's coming up of it. He's coming up. I hope he comes home. Yeah. You're not in the water. You're in the water too. I have shoes on. He's a long neck. I know. Yeah, he's coming up this way. He's definitely a snapping tail. Yeah. I just saw the shell. I'm like, there's no way that's. There's no way we were just swimming in that for like literally an hour. <laughs> Like right there. You can see him so I, good. I read somebody, the woman that we're like, yeah, we see it on rain. She said there was a snapping turtle. Really? Yeah. Look, he's going up there. He just came up. Oh, he's. Uh, he's he saw us, so he's, he's gone. No, now. he's heading away. Hmm. Uh, I didn't get one. I didn't get <laughs> one. Way. I didn't get one. Play some <laughs> good cards. <laughs> oh, don't love this. Yeah, I like it. Oh yeah, that's, you guys are, are trendsetters right there. <laughs> and we're right there. Yeah, we think we're like just before the island. And that's the size of the park. That's insane. Yeah. And then all this purple is... That's yummy. <laughs> <laughs> What's our what's our plan here, guys? How are um, we gonna turn this into that? So, I'm gonna put this stuff, which is good, into the pot of the good noodles. Mix that up so it'll still be good. We can't even eat some of that while we fix this. That's like an appetizer. Good. So should I stop picking this up? <laughs> I don't think we need much more. Right. So that's looking good. If you wanna put that in there. And then we rinse them. And then you can rinse it out. <laughs> Each one's getting individually washed. We're washing with our hands. <laughs> We're boiling them, but you should see the amount of chunks on them. It's a good thing we have penne, because if we had rigatoni, that <laughs> would cling. It's fiber. <laughs> it's for vegetarians. <laughs> it's like, isn't that what vegetarians like, grass? It's more like mulch in there, <laughs> but, you know. It's all the same. Might be some bugs. A little protein. You gotta stop swearing. This is a this is a family what channel. What did I say? I didn't swear. Yeah, you did. What did I say? You said. Oh. Seriously, stop swearing. Sounds like 
good passive. That was close. Nope. Another flopper. <laughs> Focusing more on filming than keeping the boat steady. All right, day number two, folks. Sign spotted. This is a good rock throwing spot. Oh, oh, got bit. I'm gonna spray. You hold this? Here, I'll spray you. Yeah, I Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got the Crocs in sport mode? Yeah, that would have been a good call before. That's what I said, before we started. No, but. <laughs> See the damage that did to you guys' shoes. <laughs> Let's get the net. What are you doing? That's so dangerous. <laughs> Camping hairstyles. <laughs> we're going for the troll look. <laughs> yep. This is what we come up with. <laughs> Comment down below if you think you should do this every day. And then it just goes through the filter. I think some people drink straight from the lake at the deeper sections, but this just gives you a little peace of mind. So it's day three, we are just having some breakfast and then we're going to pack up our stuff and we've got about a 35 minute canoe ride down the lake. I should have my Fruit Loops suck it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to sit with wet milk pants. You know, smelling milk. It's awful. It's like a rock. <laughs> So if you've seen any of the other videos on my channel, then you'll know that I have just a little bit of anxiety. Just a tiny little bit. One of the things that I'm a little anxious about is stuff like the unknown. And so something like a camping trip would be, what's the bathroom situation, you know? I just really like to know what the situation is before I go there. It eases some of my anxiety and uh, nervousness. If you have anxiety or if you're just nervous about new situations, then you might have the same questions that I do. Originally, I had thought that it was literally just go into the forest with toilet paper and dig a hole. 
Um, but luckily, in Algonquin Park, every single camping site has what we call a boom box. It's not that far. It's, it's a very short walk so that you can still do it at night with a headlamp, but it is far enough away that you've got plenty of privacy back here. We just put a bag with toilet paper by the entrance to the trail, and that way, if the bag is gone, you know someone's back here so that you never interrupt someone when they're uh, reading the morning paper, if you know what I mean. Here it is. It's literally just... You open it up, and that's what it is. Obviously, it's not a five-star hotel, but you're not signing up for that when you go camping. But I know that every site in Algonquin Park has one of those lovely things. So that's what the bathroom situation looks like here. All packed up, ready to leave. So strong. Oh, I'm getting it. To be honest, I was a little anxious to come on this camping trip just because this past week has been a a rough week for my mental health. I had a couple panic attacks and my anxiety levels were quite high. It was just one of those rougher weeks. And so I was a little anxious to be away from home. Can't go anywhere other than by canoe if I need to leave for some reason. The anxiety was a little higher towards this trip and I love camping, so usually it's not. But we all hear those studies that say that going for a walk, especially in nature, is great for your mental health. It definitely is true. Spending two days out here, you can feel how good it is for your mental health and just your overall happiness. So if you are thinking about going camping or you think it might be something you want to try or you're going through a really rough time with your mental health and you need to get away, I would highly, highly suggest camping as a way to escape and something that could really, really help your mental health because you can, you can feel it. You feel at peace when you're out here, aside from the mosquitoes. They can test your sanity sometimes, but really recommend a camping trip. It's been a great trip with Jordan and Nora and Carter. We loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.